over the course of the conference today, I've talked with a couple of people about this idea of co-production in the sense that how do we bring in a, a broader, a more richer group of stakeholders, if you will, to join the scientists really at the beginning of the process. So not that the scientists do their science and uh, translate it into the right language or accessible language and that that's okay, that's enough, but instead bring in these other people at the front end and find out what they know and what's important to them, the things that matter to them, and have that help shape even the design of the project and the implementation of the project. So I think to get started in a co-production process, um, we need to be humble as scientists and we need to get outside of our comfort zone to not just, you know, we have, scientists have a, a research program and we want, to, we want to advance that program and write the next paper. I think in the case of co-production, we need to put the, the research program on hold a little bit and instead talk to people about what's the problem here? I mean, what kind of decision do you think you need to make? Or what kind of information do you need to even get your head around what's going on? And so it's a much slower process than it might be if it's just scientists kind of defining a problem, designing research and implementing the research and writing a paper and going on to the next thing. So it takes maybe some humbleness on the part of the scientists to bring in some other people and do a process that maybe seems kind of inefficient, um, but, but which gets to know what matters to people and uses that to help shape the science that's done. One of the challenges in doing co-production type knowledge development is that <clears throat> the reward structure for scientists is oriented toward getting in and out, if you will, getting a project defined and designed and implemented and getting something written up in a journal with that high impact factor and then move on to the next project. So the reward structure for researchers at a, at a federal government level or at an academic level or an NGO is really not geared toward supporting co-production. So one of the things it seems that institutions can do is change the reward structure a little bit so that scientists get credit for all the front-end work that's involved in co-production.